Good evening, race fans. Welcome back to another week of Historic Trans Am. And it's, there we go, finally letting me hit the spectate button. <laughs> That's important. Uh, and now the screen is frozen. Hooray, technology. There we go. Uh, as we transition over and into the grid editing. Uh, welcome back once again. This week we are at Sonoma Raceway, a.k.a. Infineon, a.k.a. whatever else. With me, as usual, is Strife. Welcome back. <laughs> Uh, Sonoma, uh, quick details on that before Excellent. And we are off. Uh, I'm trying to see who that is in the lead. I don't recognize the car right off the top of my. Uh, oh, Big Ben, there we go. You think I. It usually happens by the end of the season that I remember. Uh, looks like there's a lot of action in turn two as they head up the hill towards turn three. Uh, I expect there to be a lot of incidents, or not a lot, but the, the, the incidents are going to happen are probably going to happen at that turn two, uh, maybe even turn one as they uh, enter that uphill section uh, here at Sonoma. Big Ben right in front of Hybrid. Hybrid in second. It goes wide and into the dirt. A little squirrely coming off. Uh, leaves room for Hybrid, but he covers that off. Uh, heads out wide, and these are terrible camera angles as Hybrid did take, uh, dives down into the inside. And they are going side by side into turn eight. <laughs> Uh, medieval Knight uh, up in third there. Great starting position for him. Yes, yes. Great battle for the lead here uh, as a hybrid does actually make, get the uh, holds on to first as they dive into the final corner of that hairpin uh, to finish this first lap. Uh, we are doing 24 laps here this week. Uh, again, full grid uh, with 22 cars. Diablo back and forth. Uh, we're using him out front, but he's just uh, been collecting all that <laughs> penalty and ballast. Uh, doing so well, winning, jeez, uh, the last four races, hasn't it? Granted, he was kind of given that one last week after, uh, indeed, uh, we did have a disconnect. Uh, who was that, dis that disconnected? Hybrid. Uh, yes, that, that's how we able to hold on to this one. And connection stable. Uh, I, I, think he, I think he deserves this one. If, you know. Providing he doesn't screw up somehow. <laughs> somehow. Uh, so let's go back into the pack uh, a little bit here. Jeez, okay. uh, it, <laughs> it's like learning this thing each and every week. Uh, so let's go back to like say seventh. So I arbitrary picked that, but it is Yan San San. I'm not playing favorites here, or am I? Uh, Sierra XR8 right behind him as uh, they head back into that uh, hairpin for the second time on this lap. Or on this, in this race to finish the second lap. Oh boy. I am completely not with it at all today. But really, what am I? <laughs> I don't know if I'm a. All right, we'll uh, we'll go up to them then. Master Big Chief and Diablo for fourth. Oh, side by side indeed. Uh, Medieval Knight uh, right ahead of that as well. Uh, maybe some light contact by Master Big Chief on Medieval Knight coming in uh, that breaking zone to the apex of that turn. Uh, as they head down into the down. 
bottom part of the track, uh, off the hill. I, I know I talked about this last week as well, but a beautiful track. If you ever have the chance to see this in person, see a race at this track in person, it, it's a, a phenomenal track. Uh, looks like Master Big Chief has a l lots of scrapes and on his paint going on there as Master Big Chief is now battling for or is that's Medieval Knights are uh, battling for second here so we'll go up to Medieval Knight for that uh, battle I mean it's just up one car but still this seems to be where the the tight action is currently at the moment is this battle between uh, third fourth fifth uh, six with the uh, trash man back in six there uh, you can see him coming around into the hairpin following that big long line of cars there as a complete lap four or start lap four. <laughs> oh man i suck <laughs> uh, big ben gets little out of shape there, uh, allowing Medieval Knight, to, who took the better line through there, to gain a little bit on him. As they in their way up the hill again. Uh, yes, and tonight, Drink Cam, the Green Drink Cam back back once again uh that is the beer i am currently drinking i bought 24 of those bad boys <laughs> spent about a hundred dollars <laughs> but it's good <laughs> and uh cheers oh that's a Oh, wow, yes. Medieval Knight sideways. Uh, I saw a uh, big man there getting sideways as well. Couldn't quite... Uh, big Ben, sorry. It couldn't quite catch if it was contact because uh, the camera angle is so bad going through that corner. It's almost like I need to switch to a different camera just for that one corner. It's, that, it's so bad. Uh, big Ben going at a turn 11. Why don't we go back a little bit in the pack uh, just to see what on, on there. It, it seems pretty... Uh, we'll go back to 8th with Wagonator. As he is... He has uh, yogurt right... He ants, ants, ants in front of him. Uh, that's uh, a battle for rates, really. He ants, ants, ants has a big enough gap on uh, Wagonator that... Uh, Nothing's going to happen in this immediate future uh, between those two. It's more of a race between Yogurt and uh, and uh, Wagonator. <laughs> I always feel like I'm calling Yogurt by the wrong name, but <laughs> it's his name. <laughs> I don't know. I'm quite sure there's a story behind that, and I would love to hear it. Uh, if, if you want to share that with us, Yogurt, by all means. Uh, Wagonator and Yogurt now, uh, well, they looked like they were side by side from that camera angle, but yeah, they're not even close anymore. So I'm going to go, looks like there is a battle for 16th, 17th, and 18th, so I'm going to go back to that. With uh, Trigger, Racer Man, and Black, Black Ghost, thank you. I think this, uh, really enjoy that part of the track, too. There aren't really any parts of this track that I, I don't enjoy. Uh, as we have Wagonator into the pits already, uh, making his pit stop on uh, lap six. The end of lap five. Uh, but yeah, it, it seems to be a really, like, there's... No awkward turns on this track. It all seems to flow very well, and it, you know, it just it shapes itself beautifully into the countryside. Uh, 
there turn two and turn three are between turn two and turn three i think are best viewing spots on the track because you can see right down into the whole track itself Gonna go back to 21st. Uh, there seems to be a little bit of uh, Severius and uh, Flight. Uh, odd to see Flight all the way back here. Uh, I don't know if you had an off. Uh, Severius as well. He's more of a mid pack. Uh, I'm guessing maybe that we're, they've done their pit stops as well already. Part of their pit strategy is uh, for Wagonator. Uh, Severus in flight to, to be all the way back there unless there was some contact and they were off and it does look like there was contact in the front of Severus's uh, 69 Firebird there that uh, oh Fours is giving me that little lag and I don't know if we lost somebody but uh, <laughs> we got the black screen <laughs> with the reload with the logo reload good times Oh, goody. Uh, Severius got uh, out of shape quite badly as well and uh, into the grass. Then we're going to go up to... Uh, ooh, wrong one. I'm going to go to... 12th? I'm with. Okay. So, yeah, the, uh, currently there's a lot of uh, pits going on, so there's going to be a lot of shuffling going on so this is Trigger and uh, I think that's Hyzer right behind them and Racer Man and Black Ghost. A lot of uh, these cars, these three cars all uh, got loose coming out of uh, turn four there. Oh! See if uh, there was contact there. Oh, geez, Trigger is just mowing all that line. He, I don't know if he's got a side gig with the with the track or, uh, track owners to, to to cut the grass for him. Uh, more contact going in through that uh, turn seven hairpin. Uh, Racer man able to to my or uh, get the best out of that and uh, gain a place or two out of that uh, contact there. Gonna go back up to fourth. Uh, low fourth. Uh, pretty big gap between him and Medieval Knight. Uh, Master Chief, Big Chief, is not too behind Diablo though. It's unfortunate that we're getting that kind of paint glitch where the chrome is showing through the cars. Is that just because they have a chrome uh, base layer, or is that something? Uh, it's ruining the immersion! <laughs> it's like they just dipped the whole car in chrome. I, I personally, I hate Chrome. I go out of my way to not have Chrome. Unfortunately, when I bought my truck, it, I did not have the budget to get the black, which kind of, <laughs> you, you got to think about it. If you think about it, it just doesn't seem to make sense. You think that black paint would be cheaper to produce, and it probably is over the Chrome. But yeah, anyway. Whatever. Absolutely. We can cut costs by painting it black, then sell it as a race option or a high performance option. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, don't see a whole lot. Uh, they seem to be quite stretched out here on track. Uh, no real close battles here at the moment, so maybe I'll take this opportunity to uh, to go over the driver standings after four races. 
And no big surprise out front. Uh, whoa, where Forza is not showing up here. Uh, you'll have to excuse that. But uh, yeah. anyway, I totally missed that. And my screen and screen is not working for some reason. Why, but uh, I will have that fixed for next week. And it doesn't want to leave the screen now either. <laughs> oh, this is going swimming. There we go. But yes, no surprise. Uh, Diablo way out in front in the point current points lead. Uh, there, you're kind of seeing that in his performance this week as his. Uh, horsepower's been severely nerfed on that car. Uh, Medieval Knight uh, currently running second with 135 points, or, or flight one point behind him with 134. Master Big Chief uh, with 130. Dior Juice to 128. Tide with Big Ben with uh, 128. Yantan Sand back with 127. Severius 123. Poor Cam T-Bird 122. Uh, and then Yogurt, uh, that we were just talking, or sorry, uh, Sierra with 121, then uh, Yogurt with 120. So it's still, whoa, and we had somebody off there. Uh, that's eight, back in eighth. Uh, yogurt way off into the grass, coming out of turn five. I think I see I spy with my little eye battle health. Then we got trigger and uh, juiced again. <laughs> As they come in through turn five and sit down into turn six. Down through that lower section onto the drag strip, the, the brief encounter with the drag strip. don't know there is an integrated drag strip that runs right down the middle of the uh, track in the lower section and juice gets that pass off on trigger and uh, and now is trying to put some distance we will go back to 17th at the moment flight and severius winding their way through the uh, bottom windy twisty section those are techn technical terms into turn 10 and then 11 I do like that shot of the uh, hairpin I, I think they got that camera angle half decent set them back there in uh, 19th but we will go back up to the battle for second. Big Bed running second, file, followed by Medieval Knight. Diablo in fourth and Big Ben in fifth, so nothing really has changed there since we last saw these folks. Back to seventh, there seems to be some tightness there between Yogurt and Yansansan. Look at the body roll coming out of that corner. <laughs> the big old hunk of steel just. <laughs> and gets that pass done. As they start on to their 12th lap. 12 to 24, so we're halfway there. Uh, imagine we'll start seeing uh, all the pit stops sort of iron themselves out. And you'll get to see everybody's true running order uh, in the next, I don't know, five laps, five, six laps, I'm guessing.
I'm going to go up front just to give uh, Hybrid some time before he uh, <laughs> before he disconnects. <laughs> what a horrible thing to say. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I hope it works out for him. Because, you know, as I already said, he, he he deserves this one. He's been putting in some great laps, uh, some great qualifying over the past couple of weeks. But just uh, mechanical problems saying no. Uh, maybe he fired his head mechanic. Found somebody new. We will go, we got uh, somebody in the pit, that is, uh, now we've got uh, Yogurt and Trash uh, battling for fourth in the, as it currently sits. bit of static from you. Nothing major though, so no, nothing to worry about. No, no, all good. A little bit of a glitch there as we saw yogurt kind of warp a little. Going to go back to uh, seventh here. As there seems to be a slight cluster of cars there with Wild Man. We haven't seen Wild Man yet today, so it's good to give him a little bit of screen time. Racer Man not too far behind him, and uh, Big Ben, who has obviously done his pit stop, and Racer Man and Wild Man have not. Uh, battle going for 11th and 12th currently. Let's go back to that with uh, Juiced and Sierra as they enter into the hairpin. And San San, not too far behind them. Racer Man into the pits. You were mentioning some uh, interesting facts about this track earlier as well, uh, as Master Brake Chief comes out of the pits as well. You want to share some of those tidbits? Fascinating. <laughs> we still have this battle with yogurt uh, and uh, juice going on. Uh, they've exchanged uh, positions or tried to exchange positions. Juice uh, looked up the inside of Sierra several times there. Sierra able to hold on to that position though. And now we have yogurt into the uh, mix as well, heading down to the uh, hairpin. On lap 15 of 24, as Wildman makes his pit, and Juiced is in there as well. Uh, 
22nd. Who the 22nd? That is Black Ghost. Uh, he must have had some offs or something because he was battling for a bigger position than one point. I'm going to go up to 5th as there seems to be a battle going on there with Medieval Knight. Uh, I believe that's Diablo with them and Master Big Chief. As they are heading down into turn seven. Side by side through there, uh, I think Medieval Knight will get the better of that. Uh, it's gonna be a, uh, now Diablo's got the line, uh, Master, uh, Medieval Knight gives up the, the position at that point. Doesn't want to push it, doesn't want to cause any wrecking damage offs or anything like that. Uh, Sierra actually gaining on this pack as well. I'm going to do a quick rundown here. 4 Cam T Bird currently out in front. Hybrid currently running second. Third Big Ben. Uh, currently running fourth is Diablo, Medieval Knight, followed by Master Big Chief, Sierra XR8 currently running seventh, Yogurt currently running eighth, The Ensign Sam back in ninth, DR, uh, DAT Trashman in tenth, Wagonator currently running eleventh, twelfth, or, or Flight, uh, Severius up to thirteenth, Sedlam running fourteenth, Face Palmer fifteenth, Wildman. Uh, currently running 16th, Hoptimizer 17th, Racerman 18th, and 19th is Juiced. I play Fast is 20th, uh, Trigger 21st, Ghost 22nd. So we are still running with a full field, which is great news. And we are still with this battle with uh, Diablo, Medieval Knight, uh, back to the where Medieval Knight tried the pass on the last uh, lap, but uh, locked up going into turn seven. Uh, will not be able to try on that pass here, but Master Big Chief is looking all over the back of Medieval Knight's rear bumper there, looking for a spot to get by. He's trying to get through uh, on the inside through the, the, uh, the S's there. Probably not gonna manage it because that's a pretty tight and twisty part of the track. Uh, and I, I don't think he's going to be able to make work, and obviously does not, as they hit on into turn 11. But he's trying on the outside of turn 11. Don't think that's going to work either, but uh, you, you, you got to try somewhere. you got to keep him thinking, uh, keep applying the pressure, uh, make the guy in front of you, you know, look too much in his rear view mirror in the hopes he can make him make a mistake. And Medieval Knight's just not falling for that right now. Uh, that has given uh, a little bit of breathing room for Diablo, though, up in fourth, as uh, Medieval Knight's kind of having to watch his bumper now, as Sierra goes wide at a turn four there. As around turn five, down into turn six. Of course, we have the variations. There are many variations on this track as well. Uh, one of the more well-known variations is, of course, the NASCAR variation. Uh, Medieval Knight locking up heavily again going into turn seven. Seems to be having a problem getting his braking right for that corner. Uh, but yes, there, as I was saying, uh, one of the variations, uh, most popular, or probably wide known, would be the uh, NASCAR version with the chute. So ba essentially, they cut out uh, at turn four, they go straight and cut out turn four, five, and six and just go right straight down to turn seven. Master Big Chief looking up the outside of Medieval Knight again. Uh, trying to get past him, but uh, Medieval Knight is having none to do with that, which is, uh, again, great news for Diablo, uh, as he's able to just put the pedal down and just uh, put some distance on these two battling 
back here for fifth. We got a tight bunch back in 16th, 17th, and 18th, so I'm just going to pop back there quick like and see what the scoop is. Uh, Wild Man, Racer Man, and Racer Man battling for uh, 17th. Optimizer just up ahead. Racer Man looking on the inside of turn two, but that's definitely not going to work. Uh, that's probably one of the, the more tricky corners to get right on this track. Got a battle for eighth or for ninth and tenth as well. So we'll pop over to that with Yan San San and Trash Man. I love the <laughs> love watching the body roll on those cars. It's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, like Challenger, it just looks, it looks like it's like a couple football fields wide. It's, it's awesome. They had to make lots of room for that monstrous motor, and unfortunately, they suffered in the tire width department. They also had transmission problems, seems to me, as well. They, they, they went through a lot of transmissions and uh, were unable to finish some races because of that, if, if my memory serves me correct. Still a beautiful car, though. My parents had a 73, and uh, to this day I still curse them for selling that. I mean, I was, uh, how old was I when they sold it? Probably 10? Because, yeah, I was about 10 years old when they sold it. But, <laughs> 30 odd years later, I'm still shaking my fist. Why? <laughs> I mean, the 73. <laughs> this, the 73 was kind of the less attractive of the Challenger series, but uh, still, it was a Challenger. I'm gonna go back up to second for that battle. Still have uh, Big Ben. Uh, Diablo has now gained quite a bit on Big Ben, Big ben and uh, has put some distance on Medieval Knight, who's still battling well, he's now battling with Yogurt. Uh, Master Big Chief has fallen back to six. We missed what happened there. As <laughs> good broadcasters do, we miss all the good stuff. Interesting. Uh, Sierra is now on the back of Master Big Chief. Always got to give that about uh, Sierra. He's always consistent with that car. Might not be the fastest with that car, but he's always consistent. Lays down consistent laps. And, you know, tends to keep himself at a, as much trouble as possible. You know, looking at his car, obviously there was some trouble along the way as he's missing a tail light. All over the back bumper. If there's a story behind that. Uh, gonna go back up to fourth. As Yogurt is still 
on the back of uh, Medieval Knight. <laughs> I feel like every race we're with Medieval Knight. He's always into he's always into something. Race with somebody. Uh, hybrid, <coughs> sorry, hybrid, uh, still out front, still with his commanding lead. Uh, Big Ben still in second, uh, followed closely as we can see on uh, by Diablo. Fourth, Evil Knight, followed by Yogurt. Uh, match with Big Chief currently running six, followed by Sierra. Eighth is Yan San San, followed closely by Trash Man. Four can T Bird all by himself in tenth. Uh, Wagoneer currently running eleventh. Twelfth, Flight, Severius thirteenth. Uh, and we've got a battle going on for fourteenth, fifteenth, and sixteenth by the looks of it. So we'll go back to that. Sedlum's got a little bit of gap out in front of him there, so I, I think really the, the battle is more. Fifteenth with face bomber as he goes wide uh, on the entry into uh, turn seven, uh, leaving the door slightly open for optimizer, but optimizer unable to take advantage of it. Looking up the inside, uh, Face Palmer leaves them all kinds of room. Uh, now they're going too wide towards turn 11, or 12, sorry. Uh, Face Palmer able to hold on to that position though, has a better line through turn 12 uh, and in through turn 1. Optimizer definitely not giving up though. A little wide coming into turn 2. Gonna go back to fifth as there's again <laughs> the evil knight <laughs> and yogurt. Uh, Master Big Chief looks like he might be catching them, catching back up to them as well. And uh, Sierra in tow. As we are now on lap 23 of 24, uh, hybrid putting in a dominant performance here. Sierra cutting heavily on the inside of uh, the exit of turn 11, the hairpin there. Don't know if the Sturds would like that a whole lot, but... Perfect. Thank you. I wish we could cover every single situation, but... Obviously we cannot with the current technology in Forza. And there is Optimizer putting that gap on Face Palmer. Set them. <laughs> Absolutely. Going to go back to that battle. Big Ben followed by Diablo, who's managed to get himself up to third here. So I think this is a, uh, you know, Best case scenario for Diablo coming into this track with the heavy, heavy PI penalties. Oh, yogurt all over the back of Medieval Knight. There in the background. And perhaps we just need to go back to that. I, 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 I feel bad for sticking on that, but it, it seems to be the best battle on track currently. As we are on the final lap. Have this 24 lap race. 
we will switch over to uh, hybrid there shortly and watch him cross the start finish line to, for his win as long as he does not disconnect. <laughs> I hope I didn't jinx him. Uh, yogurt being pressured now by Master Big Chief. Yogurt tends to take a very wide line coming through turn five and down into turn sec, uh, six. The line's definitely working for him. And we're going to pop up to Hybrid as he is coming into the hairpin and through the hairpin. <laughs> and he's doing a little drifting as I play fast is into the pits for his pit stop. And uh, Hybrid crosses the start-finish line to bring home the win. Congrats to Hybrid. Uh, second uh, is Big Ben as he comes around the hairpin and heads down towards the start-finish line. Uh, Big Ben takes second, followed by Diablo. Uh, fourth, we have Medieval Knight. Fifth, Yogurt. Sixth, Master Big Cheese. Seventh, Sierra XR8. And back in eighth, I believe, is Yansan San if this loads. Yes, Yansan San takes eighth, followed by Trashman. 4KM T Bird crosses the line in tenth. Eleventh is Wagoner. Twelfth is Flight, followed in thirteenth is black screen, black screen, black screen, Severius, 14th, back to 14th with Sedlam as he is, has a big long line of cars behind him, big train, so we have Sedlam crossing the line in 14th, Hoptimizer 15th, Face Bomber 16th, 17th is Racer Man, 18th is DR Juiced, 19th is Wild Man CB, and we will pop back to 20th with uh, Trigger as he crosses the start finish line to finish in 20th. 21st, we have Black Ghost as he comes around the hairpin. And round turn 12. Crosses the start finish line, and we will pop back to I play fast back in 22nd. Now, of course, uh, the way this works is there's a, uh, <laughs> as he is now battling Diablo's ghost, <laughs> Drive Atar, uh, as he rounds the start finish line, getting all kinds of loving from the uh, AI for Diablo. Uh, so what happens is there's two rooms in this. So there's actually another race currently going on as well. And what uh, Yan San San does is mix the two results together. So just because somebody got a position in this room doesn't mean that the overall results, they're going to finish in that spot. It depends on what happens in the other room. Uh, so keep that in mind you, you know if you're some sort of weird mathematician out there and studying the uh, the uh, point standings from previous races and go well how come he's up there and we've never seen him on the race that's because he's in the second uh, second lobby and is able to pull off some great laps in the second lobby and finish ahead of people that are in the A main so and by second lobby I meant B main uh, all in all, not a bad race. Uh, there wasn't a huge amount of, you know, close racing there. Not a whole lot of excitement. Uh, but it was a good, clean race. We didn't see a whole lot of contact or those fours uh, get-togethers lo locking that we, we've seen in a few other races that have wrecked, other, wrecked drivers' races. So it was great to see that uh, next week. Any idea where we're at next week? <laughs> I should be looking things, these things up. Any idea where we're at next week? Yes, the lesser known stops for the Trans Am series. <laughs>
the international section of the series. Good, good. Next, which uh, foresee it uh, being quite spread out, uh, just because of the track length and the technicality of the track. It's a very technical course. Uh, there's some really tight spots, but there's also some very wide open spots where horsepower is going to work you know versus handling so it, it should be interesting um so we'll see you there next week uh thanks again strife for sitting in the booth with me and broadcasting this train wreck pleasure as always and uh oh before i forget for those who've actually watched to the end here and listened to me babble on we're, we're gonna we're gonna do a little test here to see who's been watching and paying attention so in the drink cam right now i'm going there are this is an srn motorsports sticker a little adhesive sticker here so i've got a plain white and a shiny reflective uh, chromey version of the srn sticker uh leave Everybody who would like one of these, I'm gonna pick. Uh, I'm gonna pick two names at random. Who leave comments in the YouTube video? Whoever leaves comments in the YouTube video about this this race, I will PM you. Uh, I'll do a random draw from whoever posts, but I, I will PM you and. Uh, Get your mailing address and send you off a couple of these bad boys. Um, may not happen right away because of this whole COVID-19 breakout crap. Uh, I'm not sure. Actually, it should be. I've got stamps. We're good. I've got stamps. <laughs> I will send them out anyway. Uh, but yeah, leave a comment. Tell you tell us what you thought about the race uh, or whatever you want to comment about. Uh, Keep it, uh, you know, don't don't be rude. Don't, you know, just put swear words or something stupid like that. But And it doesn't have to be nice. It can be constructive criticism, whatever you want. Leave a comment, and uh, we'll announce the winners next week. How's that sound? Right on. All right. Uh, that being said, have a great week, and we'll see you here back next week, and we'll be doing spa. Have a great week, folks. Bye-bye.